Hello, and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Parker, and today we're going to use addition strategies through an activity called the Bright Idea. The following activity is based on Graham Fletcher's three-act task. During today's three-act task, the Bright Idea, you should be able to use strategies to solve addition and subtraction problems. Before we get started, go grab paper and a pencil to work along with us. To get our brains thinking about math, we are going to do a warm-up activity called Which One Doesn't Belong? Look at the four pictures. Three of the pictures go together in one way, while the fourth doesn't belong. There isn't a wrong answer as long as you can explain why. Are you ready? Which picture doesn't belong and why? Number one doesn't belong because the coins are tail side up while the others are head side up. Number two doesn't belong because the pennies are brown in color while the others are silver in color. Number three doesn't belong because the dimes total 50 cents. Number four doesn't belong because the quarter is only one coin while the rest has multiple coins. What other ideas did you think of? In a moment, you're going to watch a video. As you watch, what do you notice and what do you wonder? What are some things that you notice while watching this video? I noticed that he had five different colors. I noticed that he put Skittles into the light bulb. What are some things that you wondered while watching this video? I wonder if each color has the same amount in the light bulb. I wonder how many Skittles fit in the light bulb. Here's our question that we're going to try to solve. How many Skittles fit in the light bulb? Before we solve the problem, let's make an estimate. Before we make an estimate, let's think about an estimate that is too high as well as too low in order to make a better estimate. Think about the video and what you already know to make your estimate. When you are thinking about your estimates, remember to think about the reasonableness of your estimate. An unreasonable low estimate would be 20, because we can count that there's that many Skittles and already in the light bulb. An unreasonable high estimate would be 150 Skittles, because the light bulb would not be able to hold that many. What are your reasonable high and low estimates? What is your estimate of how many Skittles are in the light bulb? 
Think back to our question. How many Skittles fit in the light bulb? In order for you to solve this problem, you need to know some information. What do you need to know in order to solve this question? We need to know how many Skittles of each color are in the light bulb. Use the picture above to see how many of each color fit into the light bulb. Now that you have this new information of how many of each color was in the light bulb, try to solve the problem. How many Skittles fit in the light bulb? Use your paper and pencil to solve. If you're having a hard time, that's okay. Let's think about some different strategies and tools that you have learned about addition and subtraction. What are some tools you can use? You can use counters to help you count, a hundreds chart, a number line, 10 frames, or draw a picture to help you solve. What strategies could you use? You could use friendly number strategies or breaking apart strategies to help you. Use a tool or strategy now to solve the problem. How many Skittles fit in the light bulb?
There were 91 Skittles and a light bulb. Before we go, let's reflect. What strategies did you use to find your answer? What would you do differently if you solved the problem again? In today's episode of Math Matters, we learned about how to solve problems using addition and subtraction strategies. How can you use addition and subtraction in your own life? I'm Mrs. Parker, and keep on counting. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.